What's up, everybody? It's your boy. It's Elliot. Welcome back to another take here at Esports with Elrod. And I know you guys have probably heard of him, so you either love him or you hate him, but it's good old Nicky Merckx, and he gave his two cents on the reaction of the Halo Infinite state of where it's at right now and his thoughts on the Halo Battle Royale in general. That's lit, bro. MW2 BR? Holy fuck, man. <laughs> That'd be fucking lit. And Halo BR. But, dude, we cannot get excited for the Halo BR. We can't, right? We fucking can't. If we get excited for the Halo BR, shame on us. We can't, man. They're so bad. That fucking dev team is horrendous, man. We can't. Don't get excited. Expect the worst. We surely can. No. You're going to f*** yourself over, man. I'm telling you. What's the saying? Expect the worst. Hope for the best. Right? That's what we're doing. Expect to be disappointed, but hope that they get it done. Because, dude, if they get it done... Holy shit, bro. A good Halo BR would take over everything. It's the middle ground, man. It's the middle piece. It's like nostalgia and old-fashioned meets new and fucking innovative and space bullshit and vehicles with BR and just... Uh, it's right in the middle, man. You know, it's fucking beautiful. But 343, you know, they're leading it. And I think they went to go get, like, another studio to help them or something. I don't know. It's shambles. It's not the old Halo that we know and love, man. Kind of sounds like Apex. Low key. As you can see, along with him, Courage, Tim, Dr. Disrespect, everyone kind of called that Halo would need a Battle Royale. And whether you guys want to admit it or not, all these arena shooter-based games, like Call of Duty Vanguard, like Halo Infinite, like even Rogue Company, these arena shooter games, they just don't hold the same level of traction as they once did. And that's truly because Battle Royale just kind of reinvented the game and brought a whole new element to it. And Halo not having that, it's just like Nick said, it's like missing that centerpiece. You can have the arena shooter element into it, but allow that to feed into the Battle Royale and allow the Battle Royale to feed into the, to the multiplayer element. I think Call of Duty does a very good job of this with their camo system. Apex Legends does this very good job with their camo system. As you play the game, you can earn more cosmetics. And talking about earning more cosmetics and being able to use cosmetics in game, Halo Infinite is taking a huge step forward in that direction. Earlier in this week, Halo did a live stream where Jerry Hook himself, the man that the legend, came out and said, look, we're taking a step away from the core locked armor system and going to work towards allowing, you know, if you get a visor and armor coat and shoulder pads, to allow that to go across all the different armor suits that we currently have, excluding the armor cores that came from the limited time modes, like the Tenrai armor set and possibly even this next armor set coming up in Season 2. We really lost, uh, uh, incorrectly, the strength that Reach and uh, Halo 3 brought to the franchise of allowing players to really mix and match everything. We are looking to move away completely from the core system. Um, and what that means for Season 2 is you'll start seeing uh, specifically what I would call in canon cores. So, you know, your Spartan 5 to 7 to, you know, whatever we're doing for Infinite on a canon perspective, uh, we're trying to make that ubiquitous. So if you earn a coating, it's usable across all of those cores. Or if you earn a shoulder piece, it's usable across all those core cores. And our focus for season two, not from day one, but as we move through season two, is that your visors, your helmets, your coatings, those will be the first things that we go after. This isn't happening right at the season two, but as season two unravels. And this change will probably come via a drop pod, which is what Joseph Staten was talking about during that live stream. And that's going to be how they deliver these modes, customization, quality of life updates to us, and ideally on a monthly basis. So this may be coming sooner than we anticipate. Now, that may be some crazy hopium, but still, it's some hopium and it's some truth behind it. And now talk about the earning side of some free cosmetics. This weekend, from April 29th all the way to May 1st, you're going to see the Kansas City Major all online via YouTube and Twitch. And this is such a cool major because the pros are like in some land of it that's in a football stadium. It looks super cool. But if you tune into twitch.com forward slash Halo, make sure you link your Halo Waypoint app. That way, as you watch Halo, you can get some of these cosmetics like the ones I'm putting up on the screen. And this weapon charm, this is going to be the one that I think I'm rocking amongst almost all my weapons. I think this one is so clean. And I hope that we get more consistent HCS events, these major events. I love watching them online. I love engaging. I love the community feedback that I always see on Twitter from them. But if you guys haven't seen it, you guys don't know about it, go check it out this weekend. If you're looking for a team to root for, go for Optic. I'm putting it out there now. We'll see on Sunday if they win. I think they're going to win the whole thing without dropping more than three maps overall. I think Formal is that much of a game changer. He is the final boss. That's bridge, that's guy. Pillars, that's guy. Pillars, that's guy. Pillars, pillars, pillars behind you. Drop me. You just jumped over his head. 
Big pillars, big pillars on Tommy. Nice. One shot, he's one shot. He's one on A, on A, guys. On A, on A, on A. Nice. 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 Finally, we're coming. Yo, Tyre, 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 Speak, Kiko. One shot, Kiko, absolute dead. Yo, Nesper, 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 one shot, Taylor. Hey, Stun. One shot, Taylor. Taylor, 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 Pissing all over these fucking kids, bro. Holy shit. Oh my god. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Holy fuck. I was pissing on those guys. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great day. I know this was a quick little video, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the little notification on. That way you never miss one of my main videos. And if you've noticed, you take a gander on my YouTube channel, you're going to see that I put out tons of shorts. Maybe two to three shorts a day. So make sure you subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. Show your boy some love. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.